Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a pivot table in Excel using Python. I need not open any Excel, but I'm just writing the code in Python and I'm asking Python to read the required Excel files from the folder and then create a pivot table and then store that pivot table into another workbook. Hope you will like this video. Keep watching. In this video, I'm using two case studies. One is using a single workbook without opening that with the help of Python, create a pivot table and store it into a different workbook. The second one using two different workbooks without opening them, combine them and then create a pivot table with the help of Python and then store into a different workbook. Now let me show you what kind of data I'm using. I've got two workbooks, workbook one and workbook two having same data structure. That means number of columns are same and column headers are same. I need not open these files. I would like to create a pivot table initially using this single table where the rows will be client and columns will be application and the values. Now let me jump into Visual Studio code. Here one thing is important. The Python file and the workbooks should be in the same folder. Then writing the code will be much easier. Now let me start writing the code. Let me open the terminal and then add a new file and convert this file into a Python file. So save as pivot py and then the code will be like this. First I need to import pandas library for that import pandas as pd. You can define any other name. Then I need to define the data frame and I need to tell Python which file has to be considered. So md my data equal you can write any other name pd dot read underscore excel that means Python has to read an excel file and the excel file name is workbook one dot excel sx. Now Python knows which file has to be considered. Now I need to tell please create a pivot table using md that is my data so my pivot equal pd dot pivot table using md comma index that means the first column containing all the client names and then comma I need to have all the columns summarized by application value so uh, columns equal application make sure that the spelling is good application and then the function I need to make sure that it has to be a sum if you don't consider here by default Python will give you a pivot table with a mean value because mean value doesn't serve any purpose to me so I need a sum for that I need to just write aggregate function equal sum now the pivot table is created in the memory. Now I need to print this pivot table into another Excel. So my pivot dot to Excel and the Excel name is my first pivot table dot Excel as X. Three lines of the code and the pivot table will be ready. Now let me save this file that is must. And then if I run this code, that means pivot, sorry, pi dot pivot pi pivot dot pi python pivot dot pi and if i press enter the code will be executed and then you will get one option an extra table rather extra excel file containing my first pivot table now let me see the folder where i can see the file my first pivot table dot excel sx if i double click on it the pivot table will be ready but not like the excel pivot table but it is a summarized table containing columns and rows but if you can quickly create this kind of summary kind of pivot table using python 
Now let me show you how to create a pivot table using two workbooks. So let me jump into Visual Studio Code. Here I need to do small changes. First of all, I have only one workbook here. So I need to define the next workbook. So MD1 equal, let me copy this code as it is. And then let me do small change that is workbook two. Now I have two workbooks. Since I have two workbooks, I need to append them or merge them together. For that, I need to define a data frame, my data equal pd.concat. So concat function merges or appends to workbooks together. So here one is md comma md1. So these are the two workbooks I need to merge and then I need to use that my data here. So it's not anymore my MD, it is my data because my data frame is now changed. Now let me do one thing. Let me add one more uh, um, argument that is values equal total. Because I have a column called total in my both the tables and then client and then application and you can keep it like this and aggregate is sum. Now let me create another pivot table. I've done very small changes and then now you can see this will create another pivot table named as my first pivot table one with both the workbooks. Let me run this code. And my pivot table one is created with I mean, after combining two workbooks with the same data, it has created another pivot table. Let me jump into that pivot table and see now it is properly be done. I'm making this video keeping in view many Excel users who may not be knowing about Python and power of Python. And I wish they start use Python for more productive work. I hope you liked this video and if you have any comments, please mention them in the comment section. And if you like this video, please share with many and please don't forget to subscribe because I am creating many videos and as and when I create a new video, you'll be getting a notification. Thank you very much.